to Sam Lifecast. You know, I just noticed the opening of this show. Uh, I think I'm wearing this shirt. You are. But check this out. So you see what looks like, Shannon, can you show this? Mm-hmm. What looks like a bunch of dog drool on me? Yes. Can you see that? Yes. Just before the show, I noticed that. So I took a black, uh, I mean, took a towel and wet it. And that went away? What the heck is that? And now it's coming back. I it's back. I you took a Sharpie, which you've done in the past. Oh, no, I've definitely, I've definitely <laughs> taken a Sharpie to a black shirt before when I had a white spot that I couldn't fix. <laughs> Wait, I'm the only one that's ever done that. No, I used to do that with shoes, man. See, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> have you ever done it with material, though, clothing? No, I mean, the shoes is terrible uh, because on a rainy day, you just have black socks at the end of it. Okay, so here's what today is. Today is, uh, I'm going to explain when I sit down. Today is a bratwurst day, uh, but here's how I want to start. These are sweet potatoes. Mm. And you know they're sweet potatoes because they're the, the lighter color one. The orange ones are yams. So these are all diced to pretty close to the, the same size. Mm -hmm. You know, I, we've talked about this. When you boil something, if you've got two things of different sizes, they're not gonna cook at the same time. These have to cook at the same time. I've got a giant pot of boiling water. I meant to put a little salt in it just to help flavor the whole thing. By the way, we are the Sam Livecast. <laughs> or right at this moment, you're gonna do that? <laughs> I can't do that when I sit down? No, fine. So I wanna cook these, right? So yeah. they're just gonna go in here. Oh shit, fuck, oh, 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 God. God. So like, they're gonna get like 15 minutes. And they're gonna soften in that time and then we're gonna come. Here's what I wanna do, I'm gonna come back in 10 minutes. I'll set the timer, how's that? We're trying to be like uh, efficient with our time these days. All right, let's see. All right, everybody good? Oh, we're all good. Oh, my mic is way too loud in my ear. I'm ready for some bra or for, for some Oktoberfest. Ready for some Oktoberfest. Mm. Welcome to Sam Livecast. Uh, it's Thursday night, which means that it's sort of essentially our Friday night. Um, that was your line at the beginning of the show. It's our Thursday, or our Friday, your Thursday. It was a Friday. I'm sorry, am I the only one that's hot? Did the air conditioning okay. go off? Did Kelly turn it up to like 79? Are you hot? Gail, are you hot? It would be nicer now if you were to no, open up the doors. No, I'm on. telling you. There's no way that the outside... Well, if you're going to do that, <laughs> turn the air on, please. I mean, off. It's not. Everything sucks. Okay, so here. Will you open the front door then? It's not nice. I'm boiling. Oh, and I'm man. uncomfortable. And what so that, is... Okay, I thought we were going to start off on the right foot. This is the right foot for me. Okay. Uh, let me introduce who's here, because this, he, is, this is interesting. Okay, can we first just say who we are, maybe? Yeah, people know who we are. Uh, no, what? <laughs> no offense. Okay, sorry. Here's what we can do. Sorry. If you want to watch, if you want to follow along in a little conversation during the show. They know it. They already know oh. it. They know it. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Continue. It just occurred to me that we start with who we are. They're already here. It's like Seinfeld a minute into the show going, you're watching Seinfeld. <laughs> they know they're fucking watching Seinfeld. Have you guys ever heard of the term troll? Yeah. No. You guys never heard of the term troll? No, yes. what is that? So a troll is someone who purposefully always wants to irritate someone by saying something. Yes. Oh. I feel like everybody in this show are just trolls. We troll each other. We, we troll <laughs> each other to no sure. end. All we do is troll. Troll me. Oh. Yeah. I'm not a troll. Except That's Shannon Kelly. and I. Yeah. Right. Oh, my God. We both said it the same time. No, Kelly, you definitely troll, too. Oh, yeah, back off does. there, Pally. Oh, I do she not. She does right, troll right, as well. Right, right. I do not. Mm. We're all just a bunch of trolls. All okay, right, Sam, make your big introduction. So here's my I big introduction. Really over happy. here, Shannon, over here on the, on the uh, couch. We have visitors tonight. On the right is uh, Gail, and on the left is uh, Lise, her daughter. So uh, we'll just turn over all the cards. Max, you paying attention? I'm here, yes. Gail? Yes. Um, my very first girlfriend ever. <laughs> what? Sitting beside your wife. My very first girlfriend sitting beside my wife. And you want to know? So what? this is like how long, Gail, we've known each other. What were you saying? You said Since earlier. we were eight years old and I went to uh, school. To Wait. Your, to your Hebrew school. And I really look like I'm Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you talking about that you've been speaking about an Asian first girlfriend your whole life? This I is her. I had no idea. You had no idea? You didn't know this it was, was her? That's sarcasm. <laughs> Obviously, I know. <laughs> no, I've no, no, Kelly no. I've known Kelly and Sam for a long time as well. Mm. 
But so when Kelly and I uh, moved to Toronto, Gail already lived there. Mm -hmm. Gail found us our first apartment. We've been friends. We've never not been friends. Yes. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, it's been a long time. And you're here because your daughter, Elise, is now moving to San Diego, she living is. in PV, and we're going to be surrogate parents for her. <laughs> right? Back up. Back up. <laughs> surrogate parents are parents that you have to use. Oh, backup babies, parents. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. No. There's no baby action going on in here. Are we financially no. responsible for her? No, no, no. <laughs> no Let no, me know no. up front. Yeah. If you need a phone call, if you need a ride home on a Friday night, we can accommodate that, but that's, that's as far as it goes. Wow. Uh, anyway, uh, so I need to address the fact that I promised to do the One Pot Brats Wednesday night, last night, during the cooking competition that we'll talk about in a second, and realized earlier today we've done them, episode 55. What episode are we on, boys? 192. It was a long ass it's time, a ago. Long time and, ago. And perhaps a lot of you haven't seen anything since then. Perhaps you've never even saw that episode where we made the one pot brats. Um, but when I re. What? I was going to say we made them last year actually for October Fest. <laughs> yeah, didn't Lynn say that? Yeah. But when we discussed it, we didn't think they were the same brats. Yeah, we thought, I mean, I'm going to pull up the That's picture. Right now, last show, we brought this up, and we didn't think that they were the same. But then when I walked in today, you told me that they were the same. And I was, uh, as I was doing my research, yeah, yeah. wow, they're so good looking oh, still. Oh, look at that. And I had a vague recollection of you making brats and beer, so. Yeah, well, whatever. I don't so think here's what I said. I said, if you, it, we said we were going to do a cook-along. If you bought the ingredients to cook-along tonight, I feel really bad. Yeah, but yeah. let us know, because if you did, we'll do it Monday night, along with whatever else we do. Part, aside from that, tonight I'm going to do a, what I'm calling uh, and making up on the spot, <laughs> a, do it. a sweet uh, potato and bratwurst hash. When I told Lynn I was making that, he went like this, oh, yes. Mm. I, I wish we I, had I said some it applause. just like that, actually. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We need some applause uh -oh. for that. Wait, I think I just lost my No. Mind. Oh, God. You know, oh, you oh, are I'm hot. Sorry. That's what was happening all day long. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, sexy. <laughs> Hi. So we, we were watching X Factor last night because Kel, because Kel likes to watch it. And, and I get shit from people here about the way that I tell the contestants when one wins or loses. They drag that shit out on X Factor on all those shows mm -hmm. like crazy. I do a little minor little version of it. And speaking of X Factor, I put on Facebook last night, hear my words, that Britney Spears on X Factor, it's hard to tell if she likes a singer, if she hates a singer, if she doesn't know where she is, or she has gas. <laughs> Have you seen her face on that show? Oh, God. I talked about this. I said, I didn't know who Demi Lovato was. And I was all, like, all in favor of Britney Spears. And probably because I remember Britney back in the early days. Demi Lovato, I still don't know who she is, but I adore her. Because she's intelligent. She's got great comments. And her facial expressions while she's watching the singers are, are great. Britney Spears literally looks like that opening scene from Cuckoo's Nest. Like she's had a lobotomy and she's just like this. Wait, okay. Is it, do you like, or is it that she has good faces or is it that Britney has bad faces? Because that just seems like Brittany a random has just thing like a to ridiculous compliment, ridiculous compliment her on. I love the faces she makes while they're competing. It just seems strange to me. No, no, no. Oh, I love, Demi Lovato is animated. Okay. <gasps> Okay, she feels like a person. She's got all that stuff. Britney okay. like, has the same face. It could be gas, it could be love, or it could be hate. Well, those matter. faces you just made actually were I just love, did, hate, I just, gas, I just, did, I just did Demi Lovato. I know, but the faces that you did make actually Can we see Demi like Lovato like again? Well, please. Oh, Demi, you know what? Here's Demi oh, Lovato. Demi I wish, Lovato. Number three. Like? I wish hate. Blake was on tonight. <laughs> gas? Worried. She's good. Demi Lovato, I don't think, has gas. Britney <laughs> Spears has the same, like, <laughs> here, love, hate, gas, I don't know where I am. That, that looks just like Popeye. <laughs> it's the same face the whole time. I don't get it. It's just mental. Hey, 
so uh, not last night, but the week before when Don Guzman uh, won the cooking competition preliminary round. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only male in the top four. They're the only male in the top four. Mm-hmm. I got a phone call from a um, reporter at the Stockton Record today. Oh. Where Don is from. Doing a story on Don Guzman. Oh, that was cool. big time. <laughs> he went to his house. He interviewed him. He's doing a story. He wanted to interview me. It's exciting. This There's is exciting. There right he there. is. Don on the right, yeah. How awesome is that? He's the man. He's the man. Coming down to Southern California for the second time in two yes, weeks. Yes, come back. As, by the way, Heather came back last night mm-hmm. for a second time from Phoenix for the competition. And what happened? She won. She did. We want to talk about the win? Yeah, we have to recap. I mean, let's recap. Do we have the pictures? Go into it right now. Yep, we're pulling them up. So, Carol, off? Yeah. Carol, the first winner of the prelim rounds, uh, did a stuffed chicken breast with spinach, goat cheese, bacon, sun dried tomatoes, garlic, bacon, and a creamy garlic sauce. Yes. Heather did. There's Carol's. There's Carol's. With uh, a trio of... Potatoes. Tri-colored potatoes. Now, look, I just have to say, in terms of presentation, I think the, the trio of, the, of the, the tri-colored potatoes were a misfire. Really? Because I think it brought, too, it brought too much confusing color to the plate. Okay. And I'm not being mean. I'm just... No, I'm you're just, not being mean. That's I'm just being honest. An observation, I'm speaking yeah. from my heart. Just harsh... He's no, the, he's the, you have to do that. He's no, the executioner. So, okay. if, if Carol is listening and watching, uh, right. if you ever happen to do another cooking competition, sometimes less is more. I feel like less is more, and I felt like maybe there was, there was too much color explosion going on there. Right? I think that's very fair. Really advice. nice flavor, but too much color explosion. Mm-hmm. And, now, and now contrast that, at least with sort of a played presentation, and there's... Uh, uh, Heather's was that what a zuki chip crusted chicken? That's that, yeah, that's actually right. <laughs> yeah, is that right. Uh, there's white rice back there, little orange, and there was a little uh, ponzu dipping sauce. Mm-hmm. So creativity, you know, clearly there. Presentation, less is more. Very simple, and and uh, it was great. They were both good. Yeah. Honestly, both? they were both good. It's been tough. The semi rounds have required that people cook chicken, and we'll see what Don and Terry bring next week. Mm-hmm. How about that last little bit of photography? Go back to that. How yeah. cool does that orange look back yeah. there with the yeah, light coming through? That's cool. I did a yeah, really I'm, good job, didn't I? Oh. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. <laughs> Kelly, I was just going to say the same thing. You wish. By That's the way, if you dish. don't know, if you don't watch the show, when the show ends, well, let me, let me back up. When the show starts, 15, 10 minutes before the show starts, we have what we call pre-live, and you can watch what's going on here. You just can't hear. Mm-hmm. When the show ends, you can watch the aftercast that we leave the cameras up, but you'll notice that Lynn comes out of the back. Lynn, wave. And takes, they picture, know us. takes pictures of the food, they right? They know us, it's okay? Great. They know us. Oh. It's great. So I need to go in the kitchen now. Okay. We have to cook. It's time to cook. I'm excited to cook. I'm hungry. I'm excited to make this hash. Sweet potato I and I love what? hash. Sweet potato. It's just weird. Is it too weird? No. Sweet no, potato. I don't think so. <laughs> See how fast Lynn, Lynn no. is hungry tonight, you can tell. Yeah, I don't think it's weird. I go, is this weird? Sweet potato and he goes, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sweet potato and... Somebody? I don't know. I can't remember now. Brought. Oh, yeah. Sweet potato and brought in honor of the thing. You know what? Why don't you tell everybody about our fantastic sponsor? Hmm. One of our fantastic sponsors. Fixtures Living. Mm -hmm. Fixtureslivingcom and uh, on the the Facebook at uh, facebook.com forward slash Fixtures Living. Fixtures Living. By the way, I didn't didn't watch Matt Lauer's um, interview with, uh, what's his name? Who? The founder of uh, the Facebook. Oh, Mark Zuckerberg? Uh, Mark Zuckerberg yeah. today. It's on tonight at 10 tonight? o'clock. Oh, cool. On, uh, what is it about how Rock, horrible what's that, what's that the IPO called? was? Rock, Rock Center. Yeah. 
Rock Center. Cool. Uh, it's Rock about Center. everything. Yeah. It's about how I, the only thing I heard was he said he has one drawer for his clothes. <laughs> That's funny. Mm-hmm. I read the same article, I think. Right? Can I? Uh, and I'll, Matt Lauer goes like this. What? One drawer. He goes, yeah. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg goes, yeah, you know, like all guys. And Matt goes, no, no, no. That's <laughs> nothing Lauer. like my closet. <laughs> Matt Lauer's Matt's a probably. clothes horse and a good looking one at that. Uh, He's oh got God, great clothes. Really? <laughs> He's got great clothes. <laughs> I'm comfortable Matt. with my sexuality. I've been married 27 years. I think it's okay if I say another man's good looking. I like Matt Lauer. You do have a man crush on Matt Lauer. I do a little bit. Totally. The only thing though, I think he needs. I think he needs a little bit more shoulder padding in his shoulders because he doesn't have big shoulders. That guy is ripped. (laughs) What? What But he's ripped. No, 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 no. He's ripped in his stomach. Oh my god. Okay. The girls over here, like we're all like snickering. But I think if you see him, his shoulders slump a little bit. I'd like to see him with just a little bit more. Just put a, a quarter of an inch more padding in his shoulders. Really? No. Okay, I, can we cook now? I think. Oh. Yes, can we? Wait, can we just look at that first? Oh, <laughs> Does God, that get really? your blood boiling? <laughs> <laughs> Does that get you excited? No, but my water's boiling back there. I've got to go tend to it. <laughs> oh, All right, we're ready God. to go. If you are. Please, can we do that now? Right, take that picture off the screen. i got to go cook. Okay. i got to take a shower too. Cold one. Okay. Oh, God, oh, really? really? Are you ready? Yes, go. Sorry. I could have gotten this out earlier. This is my stream. Oh, jeez. Oh, Uh-oh. I can't hear anything. Do you know why? Come here, Shannon. <laughs> oh, is it because your mic is... <laughs> oh, no. It became the dick mic. Here, there's a, I'll bring you the clip. You could, you could... Yes, thank you. You could turn it off while we were doing it. You know, we can't hear you when you have no laugh. <laughs> the chaos cast. How about my ear? Does anybody have a good um, remedy? Because I can't hello, hear you. Hello, hello, hello. You can hear you. Wait, so your ear, one, tomorrow. one ear is still plugged. Terribly, and I've got like equilibrium issues. Maybe so we could, what one, one time I I had the same problem. I just went to the drugstore where you get those things you put in your ears, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you just put it in your ears, let it foam, kind of jump oh, up and down. Oh, foam. God. And really? then you tilt. No, it works. And then you don't like you tilt your head back the other way, and just everything just like falls out. Oh, oh God, God, Lynn! Lynn. I okay. can't even believe that you're doing uh, who this. Who can on help my show? mother in a non-disgusting way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we are. The potatoes are done. I'm gonna drain them now. <laughs> Watching this, Shannon? Yep. Yeah. Oh God, I should have done them in the sink. Oh fuck! Yeah. Oh, oh, oh God! God! <laughs> God. I don't know why we laugh at your misfortunes. I know. I thought they would just like kind of. I feel okay. Sweet potatoes. Out there. Hold on. So, can we talk maybe a little bit about the difference between sweet potatoes and yams? Yeah, orange, yellow. Okay, Apparently, I understand that, I really but is know. there, I mean, is one sweeter than the other? Is one... Yeah, the foodie's sitting right beside you, man. Ask okay, him. chief. Um, Any idea? I th- sweet potatoes are popular in the American South. Oh, um, that's true. I know that. They're yellow and orange. <laughs> and <laughs> Look at him with the pressure. <laughs> I'm like else. looking at a website right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they said apparently a true yam is not even distantly related to the sweet potato. Oh. Mm. And it's generally sweeter than the sweet potato. And it can grow okay, to over yeah. seven feet in length. What? Wow, seven feet? Can, okay, fine. Now we got to find a seven, seven foot, foot yeah. sweet potato. Oh, wait, that's like Yao Ming. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's right. Long wind sweet potato. Right. Okay, so I got green pepper here. Ooh, that looks disgusting. What does? Sorry, oh. I'm looking up the world's largest sweet potato, and it looks like an alien. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. I'm not really Check that out. <laughs> so this I could have cut. Oh, look Did there. you not want to see it? Okay. <laughs> oh, God. I turned away and, and lost. And the guy is disgusting, too. <laughs> oh, God. I don't even know what Max. that was. Yeah. That's what's in your ear, Kel. <laughs> oh, Lynn. Oh, Lynn. No. Okay. I'm heating my wok because I've got to cook this green pepper that I could have cut earlier. God, I was trying to make tonight brief. 
I think we're we, I still hey, we might be. We're doing okay. We're only at 22 minutes. We're okay. We're <laughs> we have okay. Sam so scared. <laughs> Show's over. Thanks, everybody, for coming. <laughs> What's going on in Facebook, Kill Nothing? Oh, look at that. Denise says old wives' tale was to blow smoke in ear. What kind of smoke? What's what means what? this? Uh, oh, God. Put a little peroxide in a cup. Lay down on the side and pour in the air and let it bubble. Yeah, no, that's no. exactly the thing you buy. Uh, it's peroxide. Oh, I'm so Guess sad. Guess what we're doing later, You're honey. just like Lucky. I'm so <laughs> we sad. We have to put the ear stuff in Lucky's head, too. Oh, yeah. Well, Lucky's ear. We probably have some left in the cupboard. <laughs> okay, so check this out. So now this is, this is starting to uh, smoke, right? My wok with nothing in it. We're going to put a little oil, a little peanut oil in. Is it a little bit ironic using a wok to cook bratwurst? You know, I've talked about it all the time. <laughs> a wok is just a big pan, deep-sided yeah. uh, pan that you can cook anything in. I think you've told our live cast people this before, but if you don't have a wok, is anything that is something you have to you have to have? Oh no! Well, I, mean, <laughs> I know. I mean, if they want to make this tonight, they oh, should use course. anything. But. Of course. No, I was just going to say a wok is something that you have to have. Right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this color a little bit soften. I've got the potatoes that are going to go in there in a minute. But look, I've got these brats, and the brats are cooked, so it's not like I have to do too much with them. But I want them to be fairly close to what's going on in there. I don't want giant pieces of this. So I'm going to cut these guys like this and then chop them down. So when they go in, everything's kind of like, you know... Roughly the same size. So Could I have done this in advance? Sorry, Shannon, yes? Have you ever done this before? No, I have never done this before. <laughs> really? I mean, I know I've made corned beef hash before, and oh. I have a sense of mm -hmm. that. But I, I don't know. I mean, how could any part of this be not right? Yeah, I don't know. Am I right? Yeah. Can we get a, maybe a recommendation on a company to buy broths from? Uh, well, Johnson these guys were, these were Johnsonville, and I think they're, you know, Johnsonville brats, certainly if yes. you go looking for brats in this time of year, uh, they're going to be who's out there in the sort of like the biggest name. Mm -hmm. And somebody remind me of mustard when I get close to this, because I really want there to be like a mustard component to this. Yes. Um, but I got to remember to put it in. I'm forgetting already. Is it, I know we have people in Wisconsin out there. Is it Wisconsin that's known for, I mean, going serious with their brats? Like for football and stuff, yes, in Green yes. Bay, yeah. Yeah, that's the that's cool, the, yeah. the place for this kind of stuff. I think it's the entire Big Ten because Ohio State was big. Oh for yeah, too. there she goes again. <laughs> <laughs> for those that don't know, Shannon is an Ohio girl. O H. O H. Yeah, I was, oh, I was just gonna make you do it. <laughs> Max, you should do that. You should post O H oh, yeah, and see what happens. I don't know. If people know the proper response to that. See how many Ohio fans we have out there. Yeah, okay, just I'm do this right now. Fan. Just post Shannon says O H, and then see what happens. Because I know what, what you're Everybody's supposed to do. Everybody's busy talking about peeing in the ear, and I don't even want to get peeing? into that urine in the ear. And it's making me ill. You really? are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. I told everybody to stop it right now. Is that a joke, oh, or is that like no, a? No, they're talking about. You know what? It's a cooking show, so everyone has something to do with sterile and enzymes and whatever else. So the onions and the green peppers are getting some amazing color over here. Mm. Look what's going on, right? That's fantastic. I'm ready for these to go in and the potatoes. As soon as these are cut, because these are, are cooked all the way through. This is cool. Check this out. Guy says, Max and Lynn, you know I'm not a... You know I'm a droid, not an iPad guy. Livecast comes in great via Ustream on my Google Nexus 7. Oh, nice. Oh, sweet. Yeah. All right, so look, I just put the sweet potatoes in here, right? Yeah. Now I'm going to add the, what's this called? Brats. The brats? The brats, yeah. Those wow, things. this thing is almost too small. Oh, yeah, And look, brats. one of the things I like about a wok is that it's very deep-sided, and you can put a ton of stuff in here. That's a lot of hash. That's a lot of hash, man. <laughs> That's what he said when he was 16. Remember the 12? <laughs> That's what that other guy said when Whatever he was, was. Uh, 16. Uh, uh, uh. 
What, Shannon? Remember the 12 egg omelet you made the tailgating show we did at the Chargers game? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 12 eggs? Yes, it was so, such a mess. <laughs> so we did a show at, at, at Qualcomm Stadium, right? And my car was in the shop for some reason. And my rental car, they said, you know, what do you want? And I go, what have you got? And they had a, a Mini. So I took this convertible Mini. And that's what I drove that day. <laughs> and I pulled the back of it down and I had my burners in a, in a pan and I did, I did this sort of, my whole point was you, if you take a, one of those little burners, this little burners that you get from like an Asian supermarket, you're not, you don't have to just do like a burger or a hot dog. Mm -hmm. It opens up the possibilities, right? Oh yeah. And so I did this giant, I, did, I wanted to do hot dogs, but I did it like a giant hot dog frittata. But I beat way too many eggs. And I don't know if it was the heat because it was super hot that day or I'd had a couple beers, but my pan was only this deep and it already had the onions and the peppers and the hot dogs in. And then when I put the eggs in, I completely over poured it and it went over the edge into the back of the, the burner thing, into the back of the mini, it was off. Side of the car. Wow, this is like so much I can't even, I've made way too much here. Well, that's what we do. Everybody's taking home. Like hash. pounds of hash. <laughs> but I feel like I'll be able to cook it a lot better if I take some out. So I'm going to take some out. Oh, wow, you've never done this. You've always just powered through it. I know. But here's the thing. Powering through this will mean cooking this for another two days. And I don't need to. I only need to cook through this. Poor Shannon. To get to the point where I can put. We got an O I O, although I hate the suck eyes. Oh. That's so wow, mean, that's so Diane. No, that's what you do. Are they when Michigan when fans? somebody from Ohio says O H, the proper response is I O. There you go. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Try the view. I think <laughs> <laughs> just about everybody knows that. Well, Sam did oh, when honey, I first told him. Just go back to thinking about Matt Lauer. No, I didn't know it. <laughs> Max didn't like that. Didn't know that. I'm going to like this. This is going to be really he good. He did so. No, not, bef not before. Uh, okay, check out what I'm going to put in here. This Mama's is a last minute Papa's idea, boy. right? So I haven't seasoned this yet. Little salt. Little pepper. Kevin wants to know what do we eat with this hash? We're well, mm. you're gonna find out. Over Have it for breakfast. Over easy fried eggs. Yeah, for breakfast. The only thing. I don't know that there's even an option, Kevin. This is what you have to have. Wow. I mean, in my world. Yeah. This is what you have to have. Anne so Mc sorry, Anne McPherson says that she got some great Guinness infused broths. Oh, wow. Yeah. I would like those. Okay, so you know I'm a fan of the Chipotle, right? Oh, yeah. I don't mean the restaurant. I've never actually been there, so maybe, maybe I it's am a fan. It's actually great. Chipotle is awesome. Yeah, I've Chipotle never been. I know everybody says that. I'm a fan of the Chipotle peppers. Big, fat, smoked jalapenos. And in the jar of them, though I put it in this little plastic thing, comes this sauce called adobo. Once again, not to be confused with the Filipino adobo, which is a soy-based thing. So I'm just going to... It's very spicy. I'm just going to give a little drizzle of this in here. Just to, you know, add some flavor, add a little spice. I've got my burners on here. And now see what's happening. Now it's starting to burn a little bit and get some color. Oh my God, I'm in love. Pardon? Mustard. Mustard. Oh, Thank good you. call. Yeah, 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 yeah. My greeny right here, spicy brown. Nice. I got eggs. We're doing really well, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. This is almost hot enough. Gail just asked me why I wasn't huge. Because <laughs> Gail, she doesn't eat this food. All I can think about is why aren't I getting a grilled brat? Oh. I, this oh, does yeah. not appeal to me. Sorry, everybody. I know that it's a great thing, but. We're grilling brats for dinner tonight. Kelly, you can come over. Oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> you see, look at You see how it's starting to get this color down here? Yes. That's what you want. 
but I gotta not turn it too much. I just wanna let it sort of do its thing. This is heating up, I can now put an egg down on here. Stop it, stop it. Oh no. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, oh. we're good. Corned beef hash with runny eggs is one of my all time favorite breakfasts. Oh, that was not sure. me. Was oh Diane. my god. No, I <laughs> that is never <laughs> Did you see me? I'm like, wait, not me. No, that may as well be me. That's like my favorite. I love that too. Right. You taught that to me at a young age, father. Absolutely. Okay. Damn it. This is gonna be really good. Almost there. We're like 30 seconds away. Maybe a minute. Wow. And here's how we're gonna use the mustard. We're gonna use the mustard on an easy little layer right underneath the egg on top of the hash. We're gonna be good. Let me see what else I have to talk about tonight. Uh, tomorrow night I'll be D Street Bar and Grill in Encinitas for the Sam's Taste Tour. We'll continue. I'll be making something that I'll figure out later tonight with Shock Top. You can come up, it's free, you can hang out, you can eat some of the food I'm making. You have to buy your beer because we discussed that last night, but it'll be lots of fun. Six o'clock to eight o'clock tomorrow night, D Street Bar and Grill in Encinitas. That'll be fun. Wish I was going to be here. Those are fun. Yeah, Kelly's out of town. Don't forget you can go to thecookingguy.com to check out the event details. They're right there. And don't miss next Wednesday night. I mean, don't miss any night, but next Wednesday night when, yeah. when we have the, our second of the semis for the cooking competition. Wow, oh, we'll be down to two. You know how good this is going to be? I'm so sorry I have to eat this in front of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this color right here, Shan. Oh my God. Okay, that's good. All right, this. Ready. Off. See, Sam, you should have married Gail. She Plate. loves that. <laughs> and so does her daughter. You would be so, hey, you would have had a daughter and she loves your food. Somebody that appreciated my cooking. <laughs> so watch, just a little mustard thing right here. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, ready? And you have to put right on top. Off. So when you eat it, this happens. This is what it's all about. This moment right here, you ready? Boom, and the egg and the yolk happens all oh. around and now you need just one really good bite. That's all. Wow. That's all you really need with this crazy sweet potato and it could only be better if Bratwurst. Matt Lauer was here to <laughs> eat it with you. <laughs> or me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, oh hot egg. God, so good. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, this is good. All right, thanks for being here tonight. Wow, you've got to make this. Bratwurst does not have to be in its original form all the time. There's other things you can do with it. And this is a very good one to do. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next week. Elizabeth wants to know what the main ingredient for the next week's se uh, semis are. Do you know? Oh. Not yet. Mm. Mm. Oh, you're gonna tell Yeah, them? those guys still have to do chicken. Oh, okay. It's oh, chicken, it's oh, yeah, right, chicken right, for, right, right. for these, these two, these two chicken, and yes. then we're not giving away what they have to do for the finale No, the championship yet. is still to be determined. That'll be fun, right? Yep. All right, thanks for being here. So you guys have a very good weekend. Remember, don't eat shitty food mm -hmm. if you can help it. If you get invited to some place and it's bad food, go home and make something good after. See ya. <laughs>